Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do a honest review of this Indian Scout from 2015. This is my second Indian that I'm going to ride. The first one was a Chief, Dark Horse. That was a nice ride but that footage will be used in an upcoming video on the channel. So I'm just going to uh, talk over this footage and take you along this this yeah this this test ride I did So first of all the only Additional things on this motorcycle are the extended handlebars and the pillion seat and of course the pillion uh, foot packs and here you hear one of the things in the end is Well did a great thing in my opinion is to just once press the button to start the motorcycle just press it once and then it'll automatically start so they, this one took a little while probably because it was started um, by the salesman to show me around the uh, controls just short and yeah maybe that that caused it because after this it just started without any issues so about the um, dealer that I uh, got this motorcycle from to test ride it that is HD service Venlo in the Netherlands I'll put the name on the screen right here really nice place really nice people if you are in the area and you are looking for a motorcycle whether it's an Indian or Harley-Davidson or whatever they have in, in, in the shop just go, uh, go there if you're interested in one of the motorcycles they are selling just go there you can't go wrong with them they are really nice people they will help you and they'll give you honest advice they allowed me to film this ride and also allow me to put this on YouTube unlike with other dealers that I've dealt with in the past so about this motorcycle it's a Indian Scout from 2015 additional things done to it are the I think 10 inch uh, handlebars so they're mini apes as they call it about 25.6 centimeters in height they are um, yeah the normal scout comes with just uh, bill raised handlebars so not that not that extended I think about five inches so about the half of uh, 26 25.6 centimeters so about 13 centimeters and yeah the pillion seat and the pillion foot bags what I really notice about this motorcycle is how uh, how great it feels on the road it really is, feels planted even though it's a uh, it, it looks like a really small motorcycle in the dealership of course it looks like a big motorcycle it's how it looks like a little smaller but still it feels really planted on the road I didn't notice any wobbly because of yeah it, it has really fat tires it doesn't have small tires and yeah that that's what I really notice I usually ride a Suzuki VL 800 from 2006 that also has big tires and sometimes with that motorcycle I notice a little bit of um, of slippiness with the tires a little bit just not that that uh, that much grip but with this motorcycle it really felt the grip it really felt so what I also noticed was the seat it's a really hard seat it's not soft at all so if you like that that's not an issue if you don't like that you should really get um, aftermarket seat or just a seat from Indian itself they make a comf more comfortable seat for both the Scout and the Scout Bobber well of course they make that but if you want an aftermarket seat I know Sel Settlement makes them and I think Mustang seats makes them also so what I'm doing here is going through all the settings on the display you can see the rpm you can see the range you can see your odometer you can see the day trip meter all these things and what you also hear right over there when i stop talking 
was the engine just rumbling and it's really it, it's a really decent sound it's not obnoxiously loud it's just it, it's just okay it's just right at that spot it's a stock uh, exhaust so if you don't like stock and you just want it louder and rougher and yeah there are possibilities like the Jekyll and Hyde exhaust but if you like the if, if you you're not that kind of a sound guy you just like the motorcycle and you like how it rides then that's the, the stock exhaust makes enough sound and makes the right sound so it's really it's really nice another thing that I noticed was the shifting it has a uh, it has forward controls they're not too far forward I myself um, uh, 1.8 meters in length so 180 centimeters I don't know what that is in um, in, in, in foot but yeah you can figure it out yourself and so the forward controls are right at the right spot so they're not too far forward they're just really at the at, at a good uh, at, a, at a nice spot for for my length so if you are about my length then this motorcycle will fit you well definitely with these handlebars because these handlebars also make a difference they make they, they make sure that you can sit right up and yeah just it doesn't give you any back pain maybe because of the seat of course that will give you a little pain in the butt cheeks but uh, it's not that it's gonna because of the ergonomics you're gonna have pain in your back after a long ride so that's what uh, what the dealer did pretty well with this motorcycle making sure that it's comfortable especially for test rides so people buy your motorcycle that's a really good thing another thing I noticed was uh, how the power delivery to the back tire is if you want a sporty motorcycle but you don't want a super sport or a yeah that kind of motorcycle then you definitely cannot go wrong with this motorcycle if you like cruisers and you want something sporty go with an Indian Scout whether it's a Scout or whether it's the Bobber just go for that motorcycle because you really can't go wrong it has enough power it handles great but the power delivery to the rear tire is really great the motorcycle has about 100 horsepower and about well 1200 cc but well if you get the exact number that is 1133 cc which also produces about 72 foot pounds of torque at 6000 rpm so the rpm range of the indian scout both the scout and the scout barber is really long it has about a red line at i think 8000 rpm i didn't get there during this test ride because i took a really slow at some points i got a little on the throttle but it was mostly 60 zone so i tried to stick to that and there were a lot of people walking the dogs and yeah as you can see there are a lot of people walking around there so i didn't want to get in their way be obnoxious annoying and that kind of stuff but with the rpm range that's really great because that gives you a really long time before you can shift so that's a nice thing that indian got going for this motorcycle so why should you get this motorcycle in my opinion this is just my honest opinion if you are a sportier rider whether you whether you are sportier whether you are a cruiser whether you enjoy long rides relaxed rides it's all possible with this motorcycle maybe it needs a little adjustment in some parts maybe it's a little it is a little tuning maybe you need another exhaust if you are into that whatever it's made for so many things the only thing it is not made for is well stock is the tracks because it has a really yeah not so great 
lean angle it just has a really small lean angle so you will scrape the foot packs really really quick if you lean a little too far but for further further applications you know the motorcycle can do about yeah everything like some people also know this it's some sort of a sleeper motorcycle because yeah it doesn't look that fast but if you are unless you're next to a Tesla or a super fast sport car whatever unless you're next to that and you want to smoke someone at a, a stoplight well you will smoke them with this motorcycle because it's just it doesn't look fast but as soon as you get on the throttle as soon as you just start pushing it well then you will notice those 100 horsepower and the foot pounds of torque that this uh, liquid cooled motor will produce so what else about why should you buy this motorcycle well to be honest the only thing that I would definitely change is um, the windscreen I really like a windscreen because I ride all year round so I like the comfort of our windscreen India makes a really great looking batwing for the Indian Scout and the Indian Scout bobber um, it is a little expensive and with expensive I mean well it's about more than 1000 euros but it is also it looks really great so that would be one of the things that I would change and I would definitely change the seat because yeah the seat would start bothering me it's not one of the things I would change directly but as soon as I will go into longer distance with this motorcycle I would definitely change that another things I would add to this motorcycle is some brand called MC cruise or M cruise is producing a cruise control module for this motorcycle for the Indian Scout both the Indian Scout and the Indian Scout bobber and that's probably one of the game changers for people who have long rides or have to take long rides on the highway and have a constant speed okay so here I will start it again and you will see that it starts without any issue I just press the button there you have it so I myself would go for the Indian Scout bobber all blacked out or white smoke just I will put some pictures over here if you have any questions leave them in the comments and I will try to give you an honest answer to them so to complete this video I will put some pros and cons right here on the screen so you can read that through. They are my pros and cons on the motorcycle so it's just a personal opinion preference thing. So that was it. If you like this video please leave a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more like this or other kinds of motorcycle related videos please subscribe to my channel if you have constructive criticism please leave that in the comments or if you really liked it please let me know i want to thank you all for watching and i'll see you next time